Ash, thank you. Thousands of Ukrainians are without power and water tonight after Russian airstrikes. Mm -hmm. It's part of Moscow's campaign to drive the nation into the cold and dark and make peace talks impossible. Chris Wynn reports. As winter nears, people across Ukraine are bracing for more catastrophe and uncertainty. The country's energy infrastructure came under renewed Russian attacks Tuesday, including a wave of strikes on critical facilities in the capital city of Kyiv. Ukraine's president says 30 percent of the country's power stations have been destroyed in just over a week, prompting residents to restrict their use of electricity and water. Putin want to kill us and all Ukrainians, we want to leave. Putin want to wait, wipe us from the world map and we want to have our own state. The death toll in Kyiv continues to rise following Russian attacks in recent days with Iranian-made kamikaze drones. Mr. Putin's army is hollow right now. They didn't come into this hollow, but they're hollowed now, both from equipment and increasingly from a personnel standpoint. The Russian army not only dealing with increasing problems on the battlefield, but also at home. At least 14 people died Monday after a Russian fighter jet crashed into an apartment building in the southern town of Yeysk during a training exercise. This war can end today. This is a war that can end right now today if, uh, if, if Vladimir Putin wants it to. This is his war. He started this war. Meanwhile, in a first, human rights officials from both Ukraine and Russia met Monday during a prisoner of war exchange between the two sides. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn.